Good morning, I'm back on that healthy eating grind. I got my spinach, my eggs, and I'm, I'm probably gonna have a little bit of avocado too because I noticed that I was not getting enough calories with my dieting. I was always under by like 200 calories and that's not good. I need to get a full, a full calorie count in for the day because your body needs food. So spinach, eggs, avocado, probably just half an avocado. But there it is, good morning! I have also been using this app, my fitness pal, and I'm sure a lot of you guys know, I know this is a really popular app, but I just put my breakfast in and I'm realizing that I really do need to eat more calories for breakfast. I know that's kind of like the most important meal of the day. So, I'm. this really helps me to kind of realize if I'm, uh, if I'm doing okay on my diet throughout the day, which is awesome. So, and it's a free app. I don't know, I just thought it was kind of cool. It kind of keeps your recipes in here, which is fun. Um, I don't know, I like it. I know they have one that you can pay for, but I don't ever, I don't ever get the pay for apps. I just get the free ones. So, so that's it. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what I'm using to keep track of all the bad things that I've been eating. I just finished editing the video. It's gonna take about almost 20 minutes to export. So I'm gonna go have some lunch. Although look at these little lazy bums. Look at this little lazy guy over here, too. Everybody's just been so tired today. Right, Bean? Did you have a rough night? <laughs> oh, I guess you did. Aw. All right, it is lunchtime. I am eating half of an avocado. I'm gonna actually have lunch, though, too. This was just to kind of hold me over while I was cooking my lunch. I'm not gonna eat this half. I'm gonna save that for Tim. But yeah, I just basically am just kind of spooning it out of the shell. And these avocados were the perfect amount of ripeness and I'm so happy about that because it's hard to get a perfectly ripe avocado these days. So yeah, and I'll probably have an apple and I might just put it in a smoothie. But there's my update on my healthy eating. It's a little bit later on. I was getting some budgeting and bill paying done. What? What was that? Okay. Armani just made a very weird noise. Um, I'm gonna have a smoothie. So I'm continuing on again with the healthy eating. I wanna show you guys that although we might slip up and you know, it's usually at the theme park because it's just so hard. I can't really bring a smoothie. It's just hard. It's just, I know I'm just like making excuses, but it really is hard. So when we are on it, we try to like really be on it. So hopefully that will kind of help in this health journey that we are on. I don't know, uh, but anyway, Here's the, the smoothie that I'm gonna make. Got some kale. I'm gonna put a little bit of spinach in there too because I do not love the taste of the kale. The kale is a little bit harsh for me. Um, spinach isn't so bad, but I'm not gonna take the kale out completely because I understand that it does have a lot of like health benefit uh, type properties. So I'll leave it in, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna dilute it a little bit with spinach. I'm gonna put a pear, an apple, some blueberries, and I'm gonna put some of these blackberries in and some of this uh, Greek plain yogurt, and probably a little bit of ice because I did not freeze these blueberries. And when you freeze them, I don't know why, it just kind of like, it just kind of helps the smoothie to become more smoothie-ish when they're frozen. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that. Yeah, and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, so I'm making my smoothie here, and I got to the pear, and I have this thing for the apple, which works amazingly. It just gives you perfect little wedges, and you don't have the core at all. You're, you're good to go. Uh, but do I use it on this pear? Is a pear like an apple? I don't know. Hmm. All right, well, I guess. Let's find out. I'm gonna put it right here. Okay. Let's see. What if I waste some of it, though? Ugh, I don't know. Okay, let's see. All right. Oh no, was it not focusing on it? <laughs> oh geez. Well, let's see it from the top here. I guess it worked. Um, I'll, I'll cut this open to see what's actually inside of it, but yeah. So I guess a pear is like an apple? I almost forgot. Well, I always, I always almost forget. Chia seeds. Oh, there's Tim. Oh yeah, look at that. Cutest dude on the planet. All right, let me talk to Tim, but Chia seeds, those also go in this smoothie. All right, you guys, there's my smoothie. It was getting so hot, I had to turn on the AC in here, so sorry if that's loud, but the smoothie is really good. It's not super sweet, and I don't know, it doesn't taste very much like kale, so that's a win. Hey, happy Tuesday, everybody. As you guys can see, I just got out of the shower and my mustache is kind of crazy right now, but I've never actually used wax in my mustache. I've always done hairspray, 
because I've never really had any. I got some here. It's called Mo Bros Premium Made in England Unscented Mustache Wax. So we're going to give it a try. I've never put mustache wax in my mustache before. We'll see how it does. First things first, though, I'm going to do the same thing that I do every morning, which is I actually blow dry my mustache into a curl. So I'm going to do that, and then we'll put the mustache wax in because that's just how I do it with the hairspray. So I think it might help it be curly. I right, here it is. I basically, I take the blow dryer and I curl my mustache and I blow dry into it and then like let it go and let it cool off in this shape. So that it kind of holds a little bit. And then I hairspray it normally, but I'm gonna add the mustache wax now. Never done it. See how it goes. It kind of makes me look like Dolly, like Dolly, Salvador Dolly, because it's like very like, whoa, whoa. I don't really, I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try to get some hairspray in it now to like calm it down because it's pretty crazy and that this is the other reason why I don't wear uh, wax because it one it melts in the heat and two uh, it like I can't control it as much it like goes way up here it's like at my eyeballs look at that it's way up here here is a little bit closer I don't know if you guys could see it from back there but there it is pretty intense right like really tall mustache action got wax in my mouth. So I had to do that again because I was so close when I turned a little bit sideways I put the focusing spot behind me but yeah, look at that. There they are. Look at how tall they are. They're very tall. Like, well, this one's going down a little bit, but this one doesn't want to. This one's like, no, I'm running away. I'm going to go live a life in the circus. Away from your face, Tim. So I'm going to go tr put some hairspray in it, try to calm it all down. And while I was mustaching it up, Jen was getting started on some dinner with some carrots and some squash and some try me tomatoes. And some <laughs> zucchini back there. A non try me tomato. Oh, I think that is a try me tomato. It came out of this package from right there. And we're going to put apples and. No, no, oh, no. no. <laughs> and I'm watching Bachelor in Paradise. And she's After watching Paradise. After Paradise. Oh, yeah. Do, 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 Roasted do, do, do. veggies. Roasted vegetables. So, uh, we just had an interesting post from Universal come across on Twitter that there is an all new Fast and Furious ride coming to Universal Orlando Resort in 2017. They go through to say that you'll be able, there'll be like a fun queue with all kinds of cars from the movies and stuff like that and uh, it'll be a high octane ride where you'll ride alongside with some of your favorite characters from the movie uh, it's called fast and the furious supercharged and to make it they're going to be closing disaster a major motion picture starring you on september 8th 2015 and then beetlejuice graveyard review will be closing later this year so there you go pretty exciting time at universal oh i wanted to show you this be like beautiful like a vegetable tray that Jen just put in the oven. Here. Look at them hands of steel. Well, I just put it in. It's not hot yet. <laughs> Look at how beautiful that is. I'm excited to eat this, though. I want to see what it looks like after it's done cooking. Oh, well, the vegetables shrank down. They're so tiny now. Look at how little they are. And so, consequently, tonight is turning out to be a very nice and relaxing night because there's a lot of stuff going on on Twitter. So we've just been, like, trying to keep up because... Uh, Horror Nights has been like doing all these updates like once an hour they've been doing updates which is pretty ridiculous but it's awesome and then Universal posted the thing about Fast and the Furious so I think we're just going to continue on our Disney movie marathon and we're going to watch Treasure Planet tonight which I've never seen but everybody tells me it's fantastic so let's get to watching it. A lot of people ask me where we watch our Disney movies a lot of them are on Netflix and if they're not then we just get them on the Disney Movies Anywhere app which is, it does cost money to rent them, but it's HD and we can stream it right to the Chromecast, so it's awesome. Heck yeah. I kind of like that movie, it was fun. It was like all kinds of crazy science fiction-y type things that, I don't know, I've never seen it before. I wish I had, but uh, yeah, I enjoyed it immensely. I would watch it again. See, it was like a very nice night of being at home and like eating healthy and watching a Disney movie. But uh, yeah, now I'm worn out because I had a long day at work. So I will see you guys tomorrow. We're the professional boxers. And now it's time to pay the price.